Hi everyone, today we're going to be unboxing and setting up the new SB3C 2K um, wireless doorbell. This is going to be replacing the Eufy doorbell that we've currently got for much better quality. It has a free storage on the cloud, you can pay as well, same as you can with most of them, but there is also a free limited version and you can record to a micro SD card. So it should work out a lot cheaper than companies like Ring. It should be a lot better than theirs. Or not so much better, but cheaper anyway. Well, we'll start off by looking what we get when we buy this. Now the Eufy one and most of the others I think come with a, a plug and the doorbell. So this one we have the screw holes, which is always handy, isn't it? Where you've got to screw it to the door. We have the quick instructions. So we have um, a door wireless chime, which doesn't look like it plugs in. And then we've got the actual software for the doorbell, how to install it and set it up. I will say as well, when you're setting up these pieces of software, make sure that your phone does not use a VPN. So programs like AdGuard, Kaspersky, they run through VPNs on your phone most times. So just make sure that's disabled when you're actually setting this up or else it won't work. And you'll think the doorbell is faulty, but it's not, it's actually your software. Right, yeah, so we've got the wireless chime, doesn't plug in, um, it runs off batteries or possibly USB 3.0, USB-C. Um, and then the chime, wireless chime connection, you just press and hold, boom, boom, boom. It looks fairly straightforward, doesn't it? So let's have a look. That is the chime box, which is great because it means you can just take it around with you. If you're going in the kitchen and you're cooking, you can actually take this in with you. So we have got, um, I did see in the box, three batteries. So we do have the three batteries. We also have a USB-C cable. And I'm sure, I thought I'd seen a USB-C slot. There it is, yeah. So maybe, I don't know yet, maybe we can run that off a USB-C plug or batteries. So we'll see. Maybe putting rechargeable batteries in there might be a viable option. So the batteries recharge when it's plugged in. And then we've got the doorbell. It's actually quite heavy. It's a nice hefty size to it it's a big doorbell and i'm assuming that here somewhere this clicks off there will usually there'll be a pin that releases the back and that is the part that we screw to the door or the door frame now again uh upvc doors don't always have very good um, grip when you screw into them so you might be better putting this to a door frame or if you've got a steel reinforced door like we have, um, well it's aluminium I think, you can actually use self-tapping screws rather than the original screws. Just make sure you get a flat head so it doesn't actually push back onto the doorbell when you're trying to clip it in. Um, there is an Allen key. Ah right, okay, so that's how we get the back off. So that locks in there. <laughs> he says... There we go, like that. So that's nice and secure. That's going to stop anyone doing a quick release and running away with your doorbell, isn't it? Which is always a problem with, um, we are, I'm sure, in every neighbourhood nowadays, there's, there's a kind of people who just want to vandalise other people's hard-earned things. Um, that still doesn't seem to want to come off yet, but... It's nearly there. I wonder if that has to come all the way out. It's weird, the other side of the Allen key doesn't seem to fit. And that would be the easiest side when you're doing it like this. Oh, that's a screwdriver, that's why. So, <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you're not looking properly, isn't it? So that's the X, and then the other side is a screwdriver, which I'm assuming they expect you to do the screws in the door panel with, but I would strongly advise against that. Use a proper, high-quality screwdriver like Stanley or you know, a 
an equally decent make. Um, yeah, peel off the film once it's done. So what we're going to do now, we're going to set up the software. Okay, so once you've got the screw undone, it doesn't come all the way out, it just stays loose like that. You'll feel it start to tighten up again, and then that just slides off like that. Yeah, and then again, the doorbell is chargeable with USB Type-C. And it says it takes 8 to 12 hours to do a full recharge. So when you're going to recharge it, bear in mind that you're going to be without it for 12 hours. So maybe do it in the evening and put it back on first thing in the morning before you go to work in case you get any parcels. And your, you've got your memory card there, which is actually in the doorbell itself. Now in my other one, it's in the house. So the problem with that is if they nick your doorbell, they've got your memory card too, with all the footage on it. Um, and there is the USB Type-C adapter. And that just gets covered over there. There's nothing to stop somebody coming to your house and nicking your SD card. I'm not sure I like that idea, to be honest. But, but yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try and set all the app and everything up now. Yeah, we're gonna go on to that. We'll go to the camera. I'm hoping that's better. So enable, update, it is installed, I just haven't used it for a while. Okay, I'll just pause this till I log in. Okay, so we're now recording. What I'm going to make sure um, is that my... Ad guard is off. I think I've added it to the exclusions, but just a bit more. Sorry about that. My ad guard got in the way of my recording system. So, right, ad guard's off. So, SB3C. Just want to connect a new device. Scan code. Now, camera hasn't got a barcode on it there. allow smart doorbell smart doorbell wi-fi with chime I assume. please power on the device yep yeah, done that reset the device the status okay. light turns blue and blinks. So reset. Okay, we heard that. Select the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and enter your password. Um, next, okay. Tap the button below. Connect to the device. I'm assuming it's going to be that. Connect this time, because once we've done it, we don't need to worry. Okay. Then we go back. Okay, that's not working, is it? That one. Hopefully. Connecting. Please wait a moment. Yeah, there we go. We're done. Uh, it then takes you through the installation guide. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. Put camera and phone at the place and in installation. Okay, well, we'll put it here for now. 
And there we go. And there we go. Don't know why it's black and white. Hopefully, it's just a preview. You can install the camera. So obviously, if you're going to put the camera at your back door, it will check your Wi-Fi first. Right, okay, so we're all set up now and we get an encrypted link to the video stream. I've peeled this cream, this plastic off a little bit. Um, there we go, that's SD card not detected. Okay, so if I play the footage, oh yeah, that's going to look, I think that's what I just did, isn't it? Live stream, there we go. So, and then if I, we've got motion detection and allowed screenshot intercom. Testing. Uh, okay, that's not working, but that might go to this box, which is not yet running. Yeah, I've not got that set up yet. So, that's the camera filming the camera which has got the software on it. I'll put it in the garden and then I'll do some more video. Okay guys, that's the, it's outside now. And that's live footage straight from the camera. So you can see the quality is quite brilliant compared to a lot of the other ones. Um, the zoom is obviously software based. But it gives you an idea of what you can do in the phone. Uh, like I say, I haven't got the SD card in yet. We've got motion detection, so you can monitor the human movement who stands on. So obviously, if you want it near the gar in the garden, you want people to trigger it. Now, one of the nice features on another brand is that you can actually set the distance. So on our front door, we're right onto the main road, so the distance is set at like three foot. Whereas on here, we could, we've just got five sensitivities. We can't actually determine how far. Um, it might be worth SV3C looking at that and doing changing the way that works. Um, power saving mode, which is going to be your most common used. Length of video clip does not exceed 10 seconds. Humanoid det detection is, all, is automatic. If you go on performance, obviously the, the camera isn't going to last that long before it needs charging and then you've got a custom but for most people the um, power saving mode is enough and then you've got your alerts and things like that um, you've got your humanoid alarm area so you should be able to draw a box oh, hang on. Sorry. yeah so we can say right anyone who crosses that path will trigger an alarm instantly which again is a really nice feature at the moment I'm not doing that because it's not in its right place but once I've fastened it to the door then that will definitely be done so I think that's it I'm quite impressed with the quality I'm just going to move it around here see how it moves how it works with the movement as if you're moving your door I think we've lost connection because I've lost I've gone out of um, Wi-Fi range Put it back down here. I do have extenders in the garden for the security cameras, which are all SV3C. Um, there's actually two. If this reconnects, I might need to take it back in the house to get it to reconnect. My only concern is that the SD card slot is actually. Has it come off? Oh, it's still ringing. Yeah, there we go. You have a visitor. If I answer it, prepare for intercom. Oh, there we go. Hello, Steve. Hi, Steve. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right, Steve. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> what's a clown? What's a clown do? Oh, hello. Oh, it's changed my voice. And then we've got uncle. I don't see the point. Why would you want to change your voice if it's somebody knocking at your door? I suppose if you don't want them knowing it's you and you say, oh, he's not in. 
then that's fine. Um, yeah, so there's my cameras up there, the SV3C cameras, and we've got our little skelly looking after them over Halloween. Um, yeah, I don't like that. Let's hang that up. Right, and that's it. That's, that's it, there we go. So, quite impressive really. For the money, it's a great camera. It's half the price of other brands. Um, much better video quality than the 1080p one we've got already in there. So I shall be replacing this tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask me and I'll answer them if I can for you. Okay, thanks very much.